Okay, so we're in Huntington right now, which is about 10 minutes away from Kruger Park, and we're walking around with the ladies of the community. We're standing in someone's house right now. Um, it's a very small place. Uh, there's not a lot of space. They don't have beds. They don't have closets. One story that really touched me was the man who had tuberculosis and he was living with his son in such an impoverished little hut. Like they slept on, on the floor and there's really nowhere to move. What are your hopes for the future? I want to be a doctor. It's really sad is that they're getting a grant now for, for his illness, but one day it's gonna happen where his, his father's gonna pass away and the child who's trying to strive to be a doctor won't be able to because he needs to provide for himself and get a job. So it was, I was really touched by that story and it really made me put life in perspective. Right now we're on the property of a lady named Anna and she's blind. She lives alone and as the ladies explained to us, she's completely neglected. And her grandchildren live right next door to her, except that they don't do anything to help her. And I just find it so heartbreaking to see this. Because at home, number one, she would have so many services that are provided for her. And also just think of myself and my, and my grandparents, and if anything were to happen to them, I don't get how the grandchildren could just sit right there and watch and not do anything to help. Today has been one of the most eye-opening days. We've been walking around and going into the homes of some of the people who live in this community. And for the first time, we're spending time with adults and not just with children. Um, and the house that we just visited, the people who are, who are guiding us along told us that these are the lucky ones because they have families and they have two homes and they have a lot. And it's just really, eye-opening to look at these houses and to say that these are the lucky ones when we come from so much and for them to acknowledge that they everything they have they don't say they don't say we have nothing they say look how lucky they are they have so much and I think that we're so used to only thinking about what we don't have and they have such an appreciation for everything that they do have and it's just, it's very beautiful. As we sit and spend time with these families, I just keep thinking to myself, if these are the lucky ones, then what are we? 